I reckon we need more FIO M11 players. I mean, what we have, I have one M11, M11 Pro, M11 Plus, and of course I've missed a couple. There's an M11 Plus the Limited, and yeah, okay, I've lost track. Anyway, now we have another one, M11S, and well, what? And well, what's the deal about this? We've just had the Plus ESS in there, in the about screen for a good reason. This is a cheaper version with some things missing and uh, well a bit of a different setup. Apparently it has, instead of the dual ES9068A, it has 90, dual 9038 Q2M. And instead of the THX amps, it has OPA926 op amps. But it still has, it has a fair whack of power. It has more power output, but we'll see how that performs. It has uh, 760 milliwatts, which is enough, well, should be enough to drive headphones. Well, that's out of the balanced. And so the next, let's check it in, let's check it out. I mean, I don't expect it to look radically different, and I reckon I'm going to have great trouble figuring out which one I have on hand when I'm doing reviews. So I could accident, accidentally blind test myself not knowing what I'm using. <laughs> that would be fun, but I don't think that will happen. This is kind of cool. Dear users, a screen protector has been pre-applied on the front and a protection film on the back before delivery, so you don't need to apply an additional one. Can you guess why this card is in here? I can't, I, I don't need to guess because I read forums. <laughs> so many people said, oh, I replied the protection thing and there was already one in there. Yep, already one on there. So, oh, well, it's, it's kind of a, maybe a slightly plainer looking box. I don't remember what was the other box looked like, but I mean, this looks a little bit simple. And you know the cheap the, the box unboxing experience can tends to be a little bit cheaper with the uh, you know as you go down the range in, in FIO, but it still looks like we have I think just a manual in here. And I'll drop everything on the floor. Quick quick start guide, which is very thick. Of course it's in multiple languages, I'm just, just teasing. So we have uh, that, which is only a few pages, but in many languages. So then probably just a USB cable, I guess. I wonder if it'll be, let's take a guess. Is it going to be C to C or A to C? I'm going to guess A to C. I'm correct. It's a USB, it's a USB 3 capable cable though. It's got blue and it's got the five pins in there. So it's a good cable. Good cables are useful. I'll hold on to that. I don't mind extra good cables. So we, of course you want to look at the player. You don't care about the cables. Nobody cares about cables. They're just cables. Oh, it's cased. I'm just going to make life easier. I had a leather case for the, um, the, the, which one is it? Plus ESS. I get my, all my models mixed up. And we have the cool sticker on the front to show what's in it. So, hold on. shall I do this close to the microphone? Oh, shall I? Okay, okay, I'll do this quietly and I'll, I'll turn the volume up so you can hear it in, in all its glory. Ready? Okay, how was that? Was that good? As good for you as it was for me? We can have a bit of fun in unboxings. Okay, now, oh, well, hold on, this is smaller. Wait up. Now, of course, I've got a case on, so it's going to be different. Oh, it's it's a bit smaller. So we're looking at, sorry, I've got to turn it up so I can see, about a centimetre shorter. And let's just turn the screen off for a sec so I don't accidentally press stuff. And width oh it's is it gonna be a touch wider well it's a touch wider in the case it looks about the same width though i think yeah same width so i'm not going to pull the whole case off just to show but well if we do it that way one them up that way hold on oh yeah that's not a bad idea so it's a bit short uh, the amplification circuit seems is probably a bit smaller i don't know about the battery i'd have to check specs battery 5300 5, milli amp hours just looking at I have it open on screen but I don't know about that's for this the M11s the ESS one maybe I don't know on the bottom though what do we have in terms of ports the ports are upside down but I think we have if we did them back to back then it's it's almost yeah it's almost identical but yeah back just backwards in general but the same setup as usual which we have uh, 3.4, 4.4, 2.5, and 3.5 with a line out option, or balanced line out option is available too, and USB C. Maybe I guess USB three. 
I can't remember. I think this one had USB 3. I know Qual it has Qualcomm Quick Charge and power delivery it supports. Just glancing on the screen here. So we've got the full charge. These things charge fast. And as usual, one slot. And, oh, thank you, Theo, for not having this card slot to fiddle around with. Thank you for making it a easy removal one. But we still have that. I call it the gamer vibe, and some people go for it and some people don't like it with the, the hexagonal thing. I like think it looks original. We've got no hold button to lock out, but it does look like... Does it have the... Oh, no, it's just a push button. It doesn't have the slidey volume, I guess. If I'm wrong, you'll find out in the review, but it looks like if there's no hold button, this doesn't protrude as much. Can you see there? The volume control doesn't protrude as much, so I think it's... You haven't got the fancy slidey volume. They've ditched that in favour of just buttons. Instead of the... Well, if I turn it on, you'll know. If you saw the review, we don't have that anymore, just the push button. So, do we get the glowing light? We do get the programmable button on the side. I did already find that out. So now what we need to do is find out what this thing is capable of and, well, does it sound much different from the ESS Plus version? And, well, does that 760 milliwatts, is that going to drive headphones well? Or are we just going to be pretty much an IEM-based thing? Well, I mean, in my opinion, anyway, as the ESS Plus was. Let's find out.